A new report says the Air Force missed multiple opportunities to stop the Sutherland Spring shooter. Three Jesuit priests credibly accused of sexual abuse worked in San Antonio. And San Pedro Creek Culture Park hosts its first holiday festival. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Monday, December 10th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. A new Pentagon Inspector General's report labels Sutherland Springs gunman Devin Patrick Kelly as an extremely abusive, suicidal airman who once played Russian roulette in front of his wife. The report was released Friday and adds a long list of new details about Devin Kelly's self-destructive nature and cruelty to his first wife and her infant son. The report also reveals the Air Force failed on at least four and as many as six occasions to notify federal authorities of federal charges and ultimately a conviction, information that should have prevented Kelly from legally buying firearms after his release from a military prison. In early November, the government cited the Brady Act in a motion to dismiss the lawsuits against it for failing to prevent Kelly from purchasing weapons used in the Sutherland Springs shooting. Find more details on the Pentagon Inspector General's report at expressnews.com. A U.S.-based component of the Jesuit Order of Roman Catholic Priests is the newest Catholic institution to identify some of its own as credibly accused in the sexual abuse of minors, including three former San Antonio clergymen who are now deceased. Friday, the Jesuits identified the three San Antonio priests as Alfonso Madrid, Francis M. Landvermeyer, and Austin N. Park. Madrid served at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church on the west side. Landvermeyer worked at Central Catholic, Antonian High Schools, and St. Cecilia Catholic Church. And Park also worked at Our Lady of Guadalupe. Friday's announcement reports the three priests' alleged abuse happened in the 1960s and 1970s. While not specifying locations, each priest had more than one allegation made against him. A press release Friday from the Archdiocese of San Antonio said Our Lady of Guadalupe's parish had been informed of the allegations against Madrid in 2015 and notes that while Jesuits have served the parish since 1932, they will be leaving this month due to a shortage of priests. Landvermeyer, who died earlier this year, was removed from ministry in 2010 and left the order and the priesthood the following year. Park died in 2013. The Jesuits' announcements proceed by about a month the scheduled release of a list of credibly accused priests from the Archdiocese. An outside commission is auditing Archdiocese records of about 150 such cases, and its report is to be made public on January 31st. And Saturday night, Japanese drummers and samba and flamenco dancers took the stage in San Pedro Creek Culture Park. The event was the first holiday festival held there and drew a crowd that bundled up against the cold to enjoy the cultural performances, food trucks, and lights. The first segment of the park opened in May, and more phases of development are planned along the waterway on the western edge of downtown. It's expected to ultimately stretch more than two miles. A temporary art installation in the creek called Luminescence began Saturday night and will remain in the park through the holiday season. The San Antonio River Authority manages the park project with the goal of bringing cultural programming to the area. And that's your daily San Antonio Express briefing for Monday, December 10th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.